Are you writing everyone? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Uh, can you please uh, scroll up a little bit? Thank you. Then, yes, sir. So, everyone, everyone done? Yes, no, okay. One more, sir. One more, sir. One more. Go ahead, go ahead. Well done, sir. Everyone. So I can ask one question. Can anyone uh, read the note? What is the note I given for accounts payable? Business partner for vendor. What is the note I given everyone? Can anyone please read? Who, who can read? Not interested? I'll read, sir. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> Accounts payable is monitor and record all the vendor activities. Example, vendor creation, vendor invoices, vendor payables, vendor approvals, etc. It is captured all types of vendor transaction. Business partner, nothing but vendor or customer in S4. So everyone, what is meant by accounts receivable? That is a note for accounts payable. Now, accounts receivable, you want to understand. Vice versa. So, accounts payable monitoring complete vendor activities. Accounts payable is completely monitoring vendor activities. Then, accounts receivable. Now, we are doing receivable. Receivable completely doing the, anyone? Customer activities. Customer activities. Note it down the note. Note it down the note. Same visa versa, everyone. Note it down the note. Sorry. Accounts receivable is accounts receivable is monitor and record. Accounts receivable is monitor and record. Note it down clearly. Monitor and record. Complete customer activities. Complete customer activities.
complete customer activities. Example, customer creation in the bracket BP, business partner. Customer creation, customer invoice posting, customer invoice posting, customer payment posting, customer approvals, dot, 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 etc. Customer approvals, that, that, etc. Next line, note it down. Customer in the bracket, business partner is one of the sub ledger accounting. Customer in the bracket, business partner is one of the sub ledger accounting. Subledger accounting. Okay. So, can anyone please read the note? Who will read? Some, uh, go ahead, man. Brian, come. Accounts receivable is monitor and record complete customer activity. For example, customer creation in bracket BP, customer invoice posting, customer payment posting, customer approval, etc. Uh, and next point, customer is one of the uh, ledger accounting. Subledger yeah. accounting. Sub accounting. Oh, you are missing some points, here, ma'am. Yes, Everyone, let's uh, very good. Yeah, thank you. Everyone, let's see our uh, uh, diagram. Everyone, let's see our diagram. For accounts payable, we did for left side activities. Accounts payable. For example, we created accounts group. And uh, we are assigning into the main this one and I mean business groups. And we created document type and number ranges. And this document type and number ranges we create post during the document entry posting. Now you want to do the left side activities. Now you want to do the sorry, right side activities. We done left side activities, accounts payable. Now accounts receivable right hand and left hand of the business. For the business, left hand and right hand. Accounts payable and accounts receivable. So now what can I do everyone? Now I want to do customer accounts group, then number range. I want to do customer accounts group and the number range. Then later what I want to do? Later I want to assign my customer accounts group, my BP groups. My customer accounts group under BP group. I want to assign this. Then later I want to set up document type and number ranges. Then later I need to create the BP. Then later I want to post the accounting entries. 
how you configured accounts payable same to same how you configured accounts payable same to same scenario you need to configure accounts receivable there we did for the vendor here we want to do for the customer there we posted vendor invoice here i want to post customer invoice there we posted vendor payment here i want to post customer payment same to same vice versa how you did in for vendor same activities you want to do for the customer activities is same see your example here we created vendor accounts group here we want to create customer accounts group here we created vendor document type and number ranges here we want to create customer document type and number ranges here we posted vendor document types here we want to post customer document type then reports also here we generated vendor report here we want to generate customer reports clear so far fall yes no okay yes sir okay so everyone let's the first one is called create customer accounts group and number ranges create customer accounts group and the number ranges the first one define accounts group with the screen layout what is the t code obd2 everyone to create vendor accounts group what is the t code obd3 obd3 to create gl accounts group what is the t code obd4 obd4 so obd4 gl accounts group obd3 vendor accounts group and obd2 customer accounts customer accounts group. accounts group is classified for example customers for this accounts group we are going to assign one number range that number will going to reflected when you create the customer or bp whatever so how you created vendor accounts group same to same you want to create customer accounts group then later we need to create number ranges later we want to assign our number range to customer accounts group these three steps activities okay clear clear everyone can i create yes no sir yes so let's open sap enter username and password then uh, go to go to sprgo showing path sap reference img select your financial accounting then accounts receivable and payable the last time last time we went for suppliers account now we want to go customer accounts during the accounts payable we went for supplier accounts now during the accounts receivable i want to go customer accounts let's go to customer accounts master data then preparation here define accounts group with the screen layout of the customer okay this is the one this is the path so you just double click on this execute button for example in case if you want to understand what is made by accounts group why you just go through this document this document can explain more information why what when blah 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 etc okay yes sir uh you you noted this one right everyone what is meant by surplus what is meant by this one display what is meant by required optional you already noted maybe no sir no sir I already given note na during the gl accounts group yes sir noted yeah yes i already given so everyone now i want to create let's create the accounts group so you, how you created vendor accounts group same to same everyone so you just double click on this execute button click on your new entry 
set up here any four digit and write the description. My four digit is called BM uh, DC. BM domestic customers. And uh, you need to control customer fields. During the customer creation, which field is optional, which field is surplus, which field is required, you can control by here. Double click on company code data, accounts management, here reconciliation account is required. Short key is required. Short key is required. Then uh, double click on payment transaction, terms of payment is required. So like this, okay? Like this, whatever details you want, you can uh, even hear communication, here the person and all is there. Let's verify this. Let's verify this. Whatever fields you want, you can click on your optional surplus and all. Click on your save. The click on your next, next. BM, BM, BF. BM, sorry, not DF, it's a okay. FC, BM, FC, BM, foreign customers. Double click on company code data, accounts management, reconciliation account is required, and short key is required. One step back. Payment transaction, terms of payment is required, then click on your save. The next, now uh, uh, BM, IC, BM, inventory customer. And double click on company code data, accounts management, example, I'm taking this. In the real time, who will confirm? I gave yeah. the note, who will, anyone? Client. Client will be confirmed which field is required and which field is optional. Then BM, SC, BM, service, customers. Double click on company code, accounts management, reconciliation is required, short key is required. Payment transaction, terms of payment is required and save. The next, the last one, BM OC, BM one time customer. One time customer, it is a one time customer. Click on the stereo, then save and one step back. Do you want to write, everyone? Do you want to write? Yes, no? Note it down if you want. Done? Yes, sir. Yeah. Click on your save and back. The next one. Next one is called create number range. Create number range. So let's create the number range. Here, yeah, here, yeah, this one is same path, everyone. Same path here. Create number range for customer accounts. Same path. Financial accounting, fin accounts receivable and payable, customer accounts. Master data, preparation for creating customer master data, this one, everyone. Create number range for customer accounts. So you just double click on this execute button. 
click on your intervals and here so all the intervals is there let's check it out which intervals is available here okay so now our system will show which interval is available uh, for example uh, here let's take uh, i can take 8989 i will take this sequence okay otherwise in case if you face any problem during the number range creation my suggestion is you can assign existing number ranges in case if you face any problem you can assign existing number ranges not required to create new okay so click on your add example i am taking two digit uh, b uh, bd for domestic 89000 then click on your add and bf for foreign Eight, eight nine one zero zero zero, eight nine one nine nine nine. Then add again one more bi, eight nine two zero zero zero, eight nine two nine nine nine. Then again add bs, eight nine three zero zero zero, eight nine three. 999 then click on your again add and b wo one time 8940008949999 press enter and save either you can create new number range otherwise in case if you face any issue during the number range creation better you can assign existing number ranges why because this is the all the students will creating different different number ranges now maybe overlook uh, over loop errors will come either you can create new otherwise you can create you can assign existing one okay bd bf bi bo and this one bs click on your save and back we want to write or not required now everyone Not required, sir. Not required, sir. Click on your save and back. The next one. The next one. Assign number range to BP group. So what is my customer BP group? Tell me. Just now I created. What is my past customer BP group? BMDC. Domestic customer. BMFC. FC. And uh, BM. IC, IC, BM, BM OC, SC service and BM OC uh, one time cost. Sorry, service customer and one time customer. This is the accounts group, customer accounts group, accounts group. Then number ranges. So, what is the number ranges we created? Number ranges one for BD and bf and bi bs and bo so this is the number ranges we created this is the accounts group we created now the next step is i want to assign my accounts group and my number ranges my accounts group and my number ranges Better you can note it down this way. Note it down this. Done, noted everyone. Yes. 
So let's assign same path, everyone. Next one. Everyone, let's see my screen, my dear students. Same path, financial accounting, accounts receivable and payable, customer account, master data, preparation for creating customer master data. First one, define accounts group. The first step is we created accounts group. And here, create number ranges. The next one is called this accounts group and this number ranges we want to assign here. Assign number range to customer accounts group. Then you just did the same to same everyone. Okay. How you did for vendors. Same to same process. Okay. Same to same like Pawan Kalyan. Okay. Same to same. Like how you created vendor. Same process for customs. Double click on accounts. Then click on your position. BM uh, DC. This one for domestic. What is that? B D A yeah? B D B D. Yeah. The next one. B F B F. The next one. B B I. The next one. B O. Next one. B S. Which one, everyone? For example, everyone, in case, sir, I did not create an accounts number ranges, what can I do? So, for example, in case if you are not created, here, click on your browse. You can assign existing number ranges, anything you can take. Okay. We already created. That is the reason we can take specific one. Like that. Okay. Click on your save and back. <clears throat> The next one. So the, uh, we completed these three steps, everyone. Define accounts group with screen layout, create number ranges, and assign number range to customer accounts group. The next one, define number assignment, direct BP to customer. <coughs> what is the target here means? Everyone here try to understand. In the last time, in the last time, during the accounts payable, we assign our vendor accounts group to vendor accounts group, group to BP group. Then now, now we want to assign our customer accounts group to BP group. The last time during the accounts payable, we assigned our vendor accounts group to BP group. Now, in this class, accounts receivable, I want to assign customer accounts group to BP group. Example, domestic customer to domestic BP group, foreign customer to foreign BP group, inventory to inventory, service to service, one time to one time. Clear? Clear so far, everyone? Yes, sir. Clear? Yes? Yes. Sir. Yes. yes, everyone. So, what is the path and all? Let's see that path. Example, this is the path, everyone. SPRO, cross application component, master data synchronize, customer and vendor integration, customer and vendor integration, business partner, then setting for customer integration, then field assignment for customer integration, then assign keys, define number to assign for direction for BP and customer. This is the path, everyone. Let it be. I will show you the path. Okay. Go to SPRO. Listen, listen, my dear students. Enter. SAP reference IMG, select your cross application component, then master data synchronize. Where is that? Go down, go down. Here, master data synchronize. Then here, customer and vendor integration. Then here, anyone? Tell me everyone, anyone remember? 
business business partner settings setting very good last time here everyone last time we went to for the setting for vendor integration during the accounts payable now where i want to go setting for customer integration we want to go setting for customer integration now here you need to go this one field assignment for customer integration then assign keys this one everyone define number assignment for direction vp customer this one you just double click on this execute button click on your position what is our group everyone vp group bm something is there no so not assign no? click on your new entry your uh, what is our pp group bm bm bd for domestic group what is our accounts group bm dc enter and uh, bm uh, bm bf here bm uh, FC. FC, yeah, FC. And here BM, BI. And here BM, IC. And BM, here uh, BS. BS. And here BM, uh, SC. And here BM, BO. And here BM OC OC. I can ask one question, everyone. When I created uh, this business partner groups, this one, this area, when I created accounts payable during the accounts payable, appreciate everyone, appreciate. Click on here, same one, Hare Krishna. Sorry, everyone. Tell me once again. BMBD, BMDC, BMF, and here also, yeah. I, I, yes, yes. Oh, I Better note it down, everyone. For my satisfaction, please note it down. Done, everyone. Yes, sir. Click on your seven back. The next one. Next one. Define document type and number ranges. Define document type and number ranges. Define document type. 
define document type in a ledger and number ranges. So I will ask one question. I will ask one question, everyone. Uh, GL document type. What is that? Anyone? S A and P A B and uh, vendor document types. K A R K A K A accounting vendor K A K R K G K A R K G then uh, customer document type you can tell me. Then asset, asset document types. And uh, here, AA and AF. Note it down, everyone. Note it down this. Done? Yes? Yes, sir. So now my target is, in the last class, we already configured GL document type and number ranges. We already configured vendor document type and number ranges. Vendor document type and number ranges. Now we want to do customer document type and number ranges. How you configured GL and vendor, same to same, you need to create customer. I'm repeating once again, how you configured GL and vendor, same to same process, you want to do for the customer. You want to do for the customer. Can I do it everyone? Yes, no, clear? So let's tell me the path without seeing the Excel. Tell me the path. You already configured now? SPRO. Very good. SPRO. Uh, SAP reference ING. Very good. Uh, financial accounting. Excellent. Global settings. Marvelous. Uh, document. Wonderful. Doc, uh, document type and number Document ranges. type and number ranges. Appreciate Okay, so here document type and number ranges. So you just click on your document type, define document type, define document type in a ledger. Then here number ranges, define number ranges. Okay, so first one, define document type, double click on this execute button. Example here, let's see DA, customer document. DG, customer credit memo, DR, customer invoice, DZ, customer payment. Example, let's double click on DA. What is the number range here? 12. Let's take the number ranges. Example, DA, 12. And uh, DR, 0, 2. DR, uh, DZ, uh, DR. 0, 2, and DG, 16, 16, and DZ, 0, 3. Maybe 0, 3, 1, maybe I would create it. Anyway, let's see. This is the number ranges. In case if you want to change, you can change it, everyone. 
So this is number range is not a standard. In case if you require to change, you can change. Okay, but with the help of this number, we can create number ranges from this number to this number like that. <clears throat> Define document type in a ledger. So what is our extension ledger? B1, huh? What is that, everyone? That's new one. B1, very good. And uh, DA98, uh, DG98, DR98, DZ98. Enter and save. See, everyone, let's try to understand. SA and AB, we configured for the GL. And here KA, KG, KR, and KZ. This is for vendor we configured. Now DA, DG, DR, and DZ. This is we are configured for customers. Click on here, save one. One more, one more, everyone. B2. And B2. And again, this is for vendor. And this is for GL. Now we are doing customer. And DA99, DG99, DR99, DZ99, and transit. Okay, click on your save. Okay. Guys, I can ask one question. Am I going fast or everyone? Am I going fast? No, sir. Everyone no, sir. understood? Understood, huh? everyone? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Why? Because same to same, na? how you configured vendor, same to same. It's just like a repeat like that. Revision like that. Okay. Yeah. The next one is called number range creation. Define document number ranges. Give it your company code BM. I'm repeating once again. Don't confuse. Now document type is completed. We are creating number ranges. We are creating number ranges. So double click on this execute button. Company code is called uh, BM10. Then click on your uh, change interval. So here, what is the number range? 12, 16, 02, and 03. 12, not there. Click on your add. 12, 2023, 12, 000, 12, 0, 9999. And add one more, one more, 16 0 0 0 16 0 9 9 like that save then one more uh, 0 2 and 0 3 maybe 0 2 already there 0 2 0 3 we already created 0 2 and 0 3 so not required to create again in case it is not there click on your add give it your 0 2 financial year from this number to this number. Okay. 0, 3 financial year, this number to this number. In case it is not there, you can create. Otherwise, keep it as this. So, in case of any doubts, please wait for five minutes. Let's complete remaining steps. Then let's complete these three steps and I will give you time to ask the questions. Okay. Everyone. Define tolerance. Again, here I will ask one question. What is meant by tolerance? Tolerance means sacrifice the value. Sacrifice the value. Sacrifice values. the value. So there we will set up one limit. Up to that limit, we are going to sacrifice. Example. Let us assume. Let us assume <clears throat> during the vendor payment. During the vendor payment, I want to pay 1000 rupees, but I paid 98 rupees. I paid, uh, sorry, 
I want to pay thousand rupees. I paid nine hundred and ninety eight rupees. Nine hundred and ninety eight rupees. So this two rupees, what happened? Income gain loss. Loss. I have to pay gain. loss. Huh? Okay, gain income side income. I paid income to two rupees. It's an income, income or revenue. Income or revenue. It is an income or revenue. The next one. Example, during the customer payment, I have to receive. I have to receive. I have to receive 2,000 rupees. But I received only 1,090 rupees or 1,095 rupees. So what about this 5 rupees? Loss or expenses. This is all loss or expenses. Loss or expenses. Loss or expenses. Everyone, did you remember? During the vendor tolerance creation, we already maintain the limit for revenue for loss. So again, we are not required to maintain. No, again, we are not required to maintain. During the vendor creation, we already maintain the tolerance limit for revenue for loss or for income for expenses. Let's go and check it out. Does details is updated here or not? Tolerance to sacrifice the value during the payments. So there we will set up the limit. Up to that limit, we are going to sacrifice. We need to maintain the limit. Let's go to this T code. OB A3. Go to T code, OB A3. Press enter. Then enter the position. Company code BM10. See here, BM10 and 20 already updated. If you read the heading, this is the tolerance for customer and vendor. Tolerance for cust customer and vendor tolerances. Are you agree, everyone? Yes. yes, no? Yes. If you double if you double click on uh, BM10, so it's here for revenue, for loss, we already maintain these limits. So again, we are not required to maintain again. We are not required to maintain. Okay. The next one. Reconciliation account. Everyone, can anyone please read the note? I gave a note for reconciliation account. What is mean by reconciliation account? Who can read? I already given the real note. I will read. Go ahead, Brahmaya. When the reconciliation account comes under return. Slowly, slowly. You are very fast. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. When the reconciliation account comes under sundry creditors, reconciliation nothing but GL. One second, sir. One second. Sir, Brahmaya read one point, everyone. When the reconciliation account comes under sundry creditor. Now I am asking one question. Customer reconciliation account comes under sundry debitor. Sundry debitor. Very good. Go ahead, sir. During the business partner creation, we are going to map reconciliation account. Reconciliation same, same account, yeah. account we are called main ledger, whereas BP is called sub ledger. If you post any accounting entries on specific business partner, value should be reflected sub ledger as well as main ledger. That means BP and reconciliation account. BP and reconciliation. Everyone, same to same, everyone. Same to same. That is for vendor and this is for customer. That is comes under sundry creditor. This is comes under sundry debitor. Same to same. There is no changes. 
but that is for vendors and this is for customer that is for i mean that is for like uh, vendor and this is for customer there is no changes same to same okay can i for sundry debitor what is the number range we given everyone for sundry debitor anyone remember sundry debitor what is the number range we maintain in the sap one six zero zero one, one six followed by four zeros. No, madam. No. Here, one, here. one four. Two three, madam. Two three. Okay. Two three, madam. Sundry creditor one four double zero double zero. Sundry debitor two three double zero double zero. So let's create this. For example, if you go to FS double zero. And uh, do one thing, company code BM10. Do one thing, everyone. You can see the hierarchy. Slash and again, FS00. See the hierarchy here. Yeah? For sundry creditor, let's see here. Yeah? Domestic vendor, foreign vendor, inventory vendor, service vendor, and one time vendors. Okay. Same to same. Domestic customers, foreign customers, inventory customers, service customers, and one time customer. Now I want to create some companies, some clients, what they are called, some clients, what they are called, uh, trade payable, trade, domestic trade payable foreign trade payable, inventory trade payable, service trade payable and one-time one trade payable. Some people call like that. For customer, what they call? Domestic trade receivable, foreign trade receivable, inventory trade receivable, service trade receivable, one-time trade receivable, something. So based depend upon the client. They will call like that also. Okay, but reconciliation accounts. Sometimes very rare case, they can pronounce like that also. So we created sundry creditor. Now we want to create sundry debitor settlement. Let's close this hierarchy for more understanding. So here 23000, click on here, create accounts group balance sheet here sundry anyone sundry debitor. and here you need to select domestic customers account and click on your control data here reconciliation account last time i selected here vendor now which one i want to select Customer. Customer. Then, as usual, short key 001, create bank interest tab. Here, reconciliation account G067. G067. Otherwise, click on your browse. Here, you can take all the reconciliation will come. Reconciliation and save. That's it. I'm repeating one second, everyone. Enter the GL number, company code, domestic customers, customers comes under sundry debitor, sundry debitor comes under balance sheet. And go to control data, here give it your short key 001, reconciliation account is customer. Then create bank interest tab, G067, press enter and save. Next one. And here I'm giving one, click on here with the template and copying from that 230000 company code BM10. Here I'm changing the description. Click on here foreign customers. Remaining, let's check it out as usual. Save. 
then let's create two with the template okay here inventory save and three with the template service one more four with the template one five So let's open the hierarchy now. Slash and FS double check. So this is the creditors. This is the debitors. Okay, this is sundry creditors. Sundry debitors. This is the reconciliation accounts. Okay. The next create BP customer. Once again, please be online. 